is going on guys it is crisis the Imago here coming at you live and in person and in this video i'm going to be talking about things that i don't want to see come to the next battlefield title you guys are probably all aware at this point that a battlefield title has been announced for 2016 a lot of people were like woohoo new battlefield and i was kind of like you guys are shocked really it's been two years coming up here that battlefield 4 has been like the battlefield title because nobody's counting hardline um, and to be honest, by the time 2016 rolls around, it will have been three years. And that was about the gap between Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. So I'm really not that surprised that a new Battlefield title, a new core militaristic Battlefield title has been announced. Now we don't know what, what it's going to be yet. We don't know if it's going to be Battlefield 5 or Bad Company 3 or 2143. We don't know anything of that nature. But we do know that it will be militaristic and it will probably come out around October or November of next year because that's usually when games launch. Call of Duty always launches in November. Uh, I believe Battlefield 4 launched in November. I can't really remember. And I know that Battlefront's launching in November. And the original release date for Hardline was supposed to be around November, December. So that's usually the big time for AAA titles to kind of release. So what I want to talk about are things that I don't want to see from Battlefield 4 that transfer over to Battlefield whatever is going to be coming. And the first thing here you saw in this clip where I spawned in without a gun. That's right, I spawned in without a gun. And I couldn't shoot at the enemy for fear of giving away my position. I couldn't aim at him. And this is something that needs to be fixed. And also you guys can see the whole little moonwalking thing that he did. That is ridiculous. At two years into this game, Dice, I still am spawning in without a gun. What is what is the deal here? What is the issue with this? Why does this continue to happen? Is it a Frostbite 3 thing? Is it just a Battlefield 4 thing? What is it? Why is Battlefield 4 still not a complete game after two years of tweaks and everything else? It's just, it's one of the things as somebody who has been here since day one, who has been through the horrible, horrible, horribleness of Battlefield 4, to see it come to where it has gotten to today yes it is a lot better than it was at launch but it still has these nasty disgusting horrible glitches that really irritate me and that's just one of the things that i don't want to see come is the spawning in without a gun the watching people slide across the ground on their knees the whole walking backwards thing and just all of that nonsense needs to just be cut out and speaking of glitches and weird things that happen the counter knife mechanic Get it the fuck out of Battlefield. Can we go back, please, to the Battlefield 3 knifing to where if you would try to attack somebody from the front, it took them down a little bit in health just like it did in Hardline. Can we please go back to that? Because this counter knifing bullshit is ridiculous. I don't know how many times I've had my knife deep into somebody's neck to just have them counter knife me and turn it around and stick it into my stomach. This is ridiculous. It's a horrible mechanic. You can't take damage when you're counter knifing somebody, but when you're knifing somebody, you can be shot, you can be ripped off and knifed yourself. There are so many things that can happen to you when you're doing the knifing, but when you're in the counter knife animation, you're completely invincible. Matemio even spoke about this, about not wanting invincible moments in the game, and this is one of those invincible moments. You put all these bullets into somebody thinking that you're going to kill them, he comes around fresh and ready to go, and now you're reloading your gun because you put all these bullets into him thinking that you were going to be able to, but because he mysteriously got saved by some bullshit mechanic, he can now turn on you and just gun you down. And that is absolutely ridiculous. It's just one of the thing, one of the many things, again, that just kind of irritate me about Battlefield 4 that I do not want to see come to the next Battlefield title. Another thing I don't want to see come to the title is the friggin' spam of the semi-automatic shotguns there are so many semi-automatic shotguns in this game the spam is absolutely ridiculous i think that they should be either removed or have their hip fire be so god awful whenever you're trying to pull that trigger repeatedly because let's just face it the qbs 09 the m1014 and the deo 12 those things when you come around the corner all you hear is boom 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 and that's all you hear and it's just ridiculous and you can't survive against that and it's just one of those things that you know they're not hip firing you know they're ads or you know that they're hip firing and that they're not adsing so 
why not make it so ungodfully possible for them to hit something when they try to hit fire like that? Now, yes, I understand a shotgun is an extremely close quarter gun, and yes, it is supposed to be able to hit things that hit fire from a close distance. I get that. I understand that. But they want to talk about weapon balancing and all these nonsensical things. They reduce the range on the carbines. They reduce the, the sniper rifle damage. They reduce explosive damage. They reduce the amount of explosives that you get. But yet we still have spam shotguns that you can just unload on somebody with. And it's just absolutely horrible. The Sega 12 is another one and that's clip fed. And that one's really dangerous because it's just a clip. It's just a magazine. The DBV 12 is another one. It's just a clip, just a magazine. You bam, 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 unload all your bullets, put another mag up in there, and you're good to go. So either make them so that they're A, are no clip-fed ones, or B, actually both of these things need to be done. There need to be no clip-fed semi-automatic shotguns, and there need to be some type of hip-fire penalty because the penalty that is in the game currently, if there is one, is just absolutely non-existent in my personal opinion and i've used plenty of semi-automatic shotguns i have like a thousand kills with the dbv12 i have like 600 kills with the spaz or the uh, sega 12k so trust me i've used the semi-automatic shotguns i know what they're capable of it's just something that's a little bit ridiculous and one more thing that i really don't want to see come to the next battlefield title are the amount of explosive launchers let's break this down here in the Assault class, you have the M320, which has the M320 HE, the little 40 millimeter ones that bounce the little grenades, and you have the M320 Smoke. In the Engineer class, you have all of your rocket launchers, and in the Support class, you have the XM25, which has Smoke, Air Burst, and Dart, and then they also have the Mortars and the u cannons. That needs to just go. There's way... Dice wants to talk about explosive spam, but you're going to get three classes, some type of launcher? I understand Engineer. They have the rocket launchers. They're meant to take out vehicles. Perfectly fine with that. Don't have an issue with that. Yes, I've been killed by rockets in Team Deathmatch, but you know what? It doesn't bother me nearly as much as getting killed by an XM25 airburst from around the corner or getting just smacked by an M320 as I walk down a hallway. When there's the M32 GL laying on the ground, what is the need for all of these explosives? You know, they, they reduce the UCAV to you can only have one and you can't have it, blah, blah, blah. And because that was too overpowered, they reduced the amount of grenades. But we have three classes with some type of explosive launcher? Come on, DICE. Why do we have that? Why is that a thing? Please don't bring that into the next title. And speaking of classes, the last thing I want to talk about today because I know this video has kind of gone on a little bit long. But the last thing I want to talk about is the all-purpose weapons, or the weapons that go across every single class. They need fixed. I should not be able to see a recon and be able to go, okay, I have an MPX. MPX is a close-range weapon. This guy's a recon. It looks like he has a long gun, which means he probably either has a DMR or a bolt-action rifle. I should be able to take him out in close quarters. Then come to find out, oh no, he has a freaking 870 MCS shotgun and just blows my fucking head off. Why is that a thing? Shotguns should not be made available to the people who can sit in a corner with a tugs and camp. I'm sorry, that is ridiculous. I don't care what anybody says. Disagree with me all that you want to. That should not be allowed. Personally, here's how I think the classes should go. PDW should be an all-around weapon, except for the recon class. The recon class should have these weapons, bolt action and DMR, and that is it. Let them have their little spaz or their little shorty 12 uh, pi uh, sidearm pistol thing. Let them have their G18s and their 93Rs. I don't care about those. But I'm so sick and tired of seeing a recon and being like, okay, I should be able to take him out in CQB, but I can't because this guy decided that he wants to run shotgun as a recon with a tugs down. That's absolutely ridiculous. So here's how I think they should go. I think the assault rifles should be locked to the assault class as they are. The carbines, I don't believe should be universal. I believe that those should be locked to the engineer class. LMGs locked to support class as they currently are. Now, the shotguns and PDWs, I think, should be universal between the Assault class, the Engineer class, and the Support class. I love using PDWs, but 
I don't want to have to use a PDW with a rocket launcher. I don't want to have to use a PDW with a repair torch, you know. I want to be able to use the PDW with my med kit, you know, be up there on the front lines in CQB, healing my teammates, reviving my teammates with a small compact gun that I can move quickly throughout the map. That's what I want. That's what I think needs to happen in the class loadout section of the next game regardless of what it is but let me know what you guys think down there in the comment section below again i know this video is a little bit longer than most of my videos it's just something that i really thought i needed to get off my chest because i've been playing battlefield 4 lately and it's been a horrible experience um just because of all the nonsense and all the things that i see that i don't want to see come to the next title because i truly love battlefield i love dice as a company but for me they have one last chance to redeem themselves and because let's face it battlefield 3 was horrible at launch battlefield 4 horrible at launch battlefield hardline can't even maintain a sustainable player base on pc which is battlefield's market battlefront i think is going to be a flop i don't think it's going to do as well as everybody think it is battlefield whatever's coming out battlefield 2016 is just what i'm going to call it for now that needs to be a hit it needs to work at launch it needs to have almost no flaws and it just needs to work at launch but again let me know what you guys think down there in the comment section below make sure you follow me on all of my social medias because that is where you can keep up to date with everything that's going on in my life and everything gaming related and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed this content and you would like to see more and of course until next time guys i'm crisis the imago and i'll see you when i see you